Hello guys, we're going to talk about uh, DALR and this is a, it's become the elephant in the room uh, post the last three catches when 2016 and 17 have been really tough. Even 15, they were going in, in that direction. So, cat 2018, there's every chance that DALR will continue to be tough. Right? Couple of things to note here when you're saying continue to be tough. Remember, this is tough for everyone. This is a competitive exam. So, anything that you find funny or weird, 1.9 lakh others are going to find funny or weird. And so don't let the fact that questions are different in comparison to other sections turn you off. Remember that the benchmark for cracking this section is going to be different for everyone, but it's going to be different. That's the important point. So for, for the VARC section that we've seen, you should have attempted 27, 28 questions and had a very high degree of accuracy because everyone attempted a lot. So accuracy matters in VARC. In quant, you would have needed to attempt 25, 26 to get a good score. In DALR, it would have been as few as 12 questions and you would have got 99.xx percentile. So remember the section being tough makes the benchmark for number of questions fall. Therefore, it gets offset a little bit. And so from a strategy point of view in the exam, then you need to become better at picking the right question. That is obvious, no, no doubt about it. You also need to remember that there are going to be no freebies. There's going to be nothing that you can solve in five minutes. So you need to have the pick up the ability to hang in there and then keep trying and then figure it out. You can't dump a question because the first step is not that obvious because for no question is the first step going to be bleeding obvious. So if you find the right set, you should say, look, this looks like reasonable. I should be able to do it. And then spend that 12, 13 minutes because it, it's, it's the worth, the value of that is phenomenal. So you need to become better at this. But five years ago, all of us tutors would have said, if you can't figure it out in two minutes, dump it. I have gone on and told this many times over. But the present era DILR, it's going to take you slightly longer to evaluate. Still dump sets that you don't get. But you need to hang in there and, and if your gut feel goes well, you need, to, you need to be willing to spend 11, 12 minutes, 13, 14 minutes to crack it. Because 15 minutes for a DILR set is still brilliant. That is, that is something to keep in mind. Final part, how are you going to prepare for it? And so you need to do the drill to get comfortable with the standard arrangements and seatings and and bar graphs and pie charts, all of that. You need to become comfortable with the, with the idea of DALR. But almost all the sets that we see are a mixture of DALR. Some numbers, some chart, and some puzzle thrown in, where you can't really figure out whether it is DALR, but it is fun, it is different. So you need to necessarily try out lots of unconventional puzzles. You need to go out and find out non-template puzzles. You need to say, you can't say I'm gonna solve five tables, six arrangements, four circular charts, four bar graphs, and you're dead, done for the section because your exam will have none of this. They're, they're basically saying, you're prepared for this on a template. They're gonna throw out that template book and ask you to figure out new templates. So you cannot get geared for one type of question. You need to gear to be able to figure out the N plus one the type that you see in the exam. So increase the width of the type of questions that you do. It, they need not always be exactly cat relevant. You can do wackier puzzles, simpler puzzles, different puzzles, but the, the, they have to be different, not on a template. So keep that in mind. Where is, the, where is a good place to start doing this? Of course, the 2IM question bank. So ping that. There are probably t 10 different sets on the question bank. Outside of this, there are, there are about 10 on the YouTube channel. So you can do 20 sets of DALR for someone who's at a reasonable speed that is six, seven hours of learning. You should try the question and then see the solution. So definitely try that because it's a, they're, they're classic sets. They're wonderful sets to try and crack. All the best.